What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima Quest of the Avatar for the Nintendo. Last episode, I made my way to Deceit, the Dungeon of Honesty, and made my way into it. Showed the dungeon layouts and how they worked and all that other shit, and, um... Like, magic orbs, and or magic balls, or whatever the fuck they're called, and, uh the stone room and whatnot, and the battle rooms, whatever the hell you want to call them. I, mean, I wouldn't know what they fucking call them. You, you walk into them, you fight. You kill them, and you move on through the other side of the room. Uh, magic balls in there. Uh, you touch it, it drains 200 hit points, and it gives you five decks. And I just went back, and I just used it a fuck ton of times. Just enough to bring up his dex to 15, which is what it caps at. And I'm the only one I'm going to do that with all the stats. Because all the dungeons will have um, magic balls that bring up stats. And I found the blue stone of honesty at the end. The stone guardian asked you... I don't know what the fuck it was he asked. You have to answer yes. I think you have to answer yes to every question for the stone room thing. To, um, pass. And got the blue stone of honesty. Warped out, and then I just ended it there. Then I went off screen and did a lot of shit. Um, there was a floor in there that actually had... It was filled with treasure chests. Like 14 chests? 15? 15? Like 14 or 15, something like that. That, um... I ended up getting them all, and I ended up with, I think, like 4... It's almost 500 gold, I guess. But if you leave the dungeon and come back, they will respawn. So I actually left and went back in. I actually showed that. Going back in and getting them. And then... That time I ended up leaving that thing, like, probably like five, almost 600. And then I just kept doing that repeatedly. But I got lots and lots of money. I mean, shit. I think the last time I went in, or one of the last times I went in, I think I ended up getting, like... A little over 800 in total for that floor, plus the floor from those two previous rooms, which was almost 200, and then the five from that other floor, that was about like two, almost 300, so I left with a good thousand right there. I ended up getting me a total of like, I want to say 7,000, 7,500, somewhere around there, and I went back to Minoc, got me a plus one axe. As you can see, I took the bow off, but the plus one axe actually has a special ability to double as a projectile weapon. And I'm going to actually show that off in my next battle. Got Yolo, a plus two sword and plus one cloth, so he actually has his best weapon and armor. Got Shamino and Expo. And I got Yana Ringmail. I'm actually back here because I meant to actually come here first. The Shrine of Honesty. Since I have his rune, I can get inside of it. Speak up to the Unk. I'll just do two and see where I'm at. Oh, and I now have a Chief Partial Officer Hood and Honesty. Alrighty then. Let me go back and talk to Hawkwind and see what my stuffs are at. So now I've got a second little mark on the top. Now from here, I'm going to actually showcase the gate spell. Just make sure it's not a thing. Okay. Gate, and I just pick where I want to go, and, and boom. But it plops you... It actually plops you down... Uh, like on the actual spot where the gate opens, so if you miss time it, you can accidentally reappear where a gate is, and it'll throw you back through the gate to wherever the hell it sends you, I guess. So now, from Britain, I'm actually going to be heading this way to the second dungeon. Um, the Spies. Should be like around here somewhere. Should be fucking... went back to 
more. I thought I got like a few more herbs. I probably could have gotten a little bit more, but man, that's good enough for now. And some more stuffs. I almost overshot that bitch. Go through here. And here we go. Despise the dungeon of compassion. Torch. Try that again without a fucking accent. A torch. Gem. Fountains. I'm gonna ignore the actual fountains. I'm not gonna freaking. I know I fought and killed all of this already, but... Deep 46. Yeah, it actually does more damage than a bow, and it actually does more damage than, like, a freaking X-Bow. Because, like I said in, like, a previous episode, there's no actual attack rating on anything, or a defense rating on any of the armor. But... Um, it is set to where the more expensive the item is, the better it is. So... And Hitchy. And the, um, plus one axe costs like 3500, the expo costs 1500, somewhere along those lines. that way and then either up or down takes you to the same damn thing. And then go east for that second one. I have mentioned before but uh these are headless that I think I'm pretty sure I fought those already. And these are gazers. Um, you don't start fighting these, I think, level 6. No, level 5. No, yeah, it has to be level 5, not level 6. On the world map, but, like, you fight them a lot in the fucking dungeons. And I didn't mean to actually attack those first, but whatever the fuck. The gauges can hit you with a, um... An attack that'll knock you unconscious. It's not a spell, it's not a project well, I guess it is a projectile, but it's not an actual sleep spell. It's just it, it just something flies out of it, it hits you, and it could put you to sleep. Ay ay ay. Super fucking weak. 
they're actually a level 2 enemy, I want to say. Or, yeah, like a level 2, 3-ish enemy, but you only fight them in dungeons, so, and they're like super easy. Hell, I think you can like kill them with a sling, almost, or just a boot. It's not like the gremlins and freaking like Ultima 3 that kept stealing your fucking food. Uh, that, would, that pissed me off all the damn time. It's like, how are we almost dead? I'm like, because they kept. Every time they steal your food, it steals half of what your total is for whoever. Because a thing is a thing. And this one, I believe, is the magical orb that brings up intelligence. Still for 200. Yeah. Need five more, damn it. Nope. Go downstairs. Nope. Hold up. Gem. Oh. Shit, that's quick. Level 5. Nope. Nope. Bastard. One more time. So, like, not all, you know, stones will be on the same floor. Like, some will be on level, you know... The other one was, what, level 7? Or 6 or some shit like that. This one's 5. Some will be, like, level 8 or 4. Shit, I think one's even on 1. But you have to go all the way down and then come back up the other way or some shit. I don't fucking remember. I don't even get through that. Okay, never mind, I got it. More cyclopses. Uh... Forgot to get throw shit at you. Grant a blessing, yes. How much? There's none more worthy. Open the box and take thy own yellow stone of compassion. You can give him, like, any amount as long as you have, like, at least a coin. Shaman open the chest. He finds the stiny of yellow. That's why I always pick Shaman to open it, because it fucks up. Okay, that was fairly quick. Like, 13 minutes or so. Or the Yammer on for, like, 2 minutes. Five hundred, that's not too bad. I think I was almost broke when I freaking uh came in here. I'm gonna hit the Britain real quick. I just overshoot that bitch. Man. Hit here real quick, because I'm trying to do a thing where it's like I'll complete the dungeon and then uh, go to that shrine to get the avatar hood for that actual thing. Gotta have honesty and honor already to compassion. Okay, I'm worthy of avatar hood. Okay, so let me go do that one. This way, I said the. I think I actually showed the shrine earlier, like two episodes ago. 
whenever I went to Cove. Or technically. Dude, that's all I don't have to fucking step in that goddamn poison marsh. ready for it and if you're already ready for it you can just do one cycle and it'll give it to you and I now have avatar hood for compassion so that's three out of five I'm gonna go ahead and head back to Britain just to call it because I, I know it's a little short but meh button. Well, I guess I can just come back and just talk to Hawkwind and then I might just... Am I even close to getting a level for anybody? Oh god, he can get level 6. Oh shit, he can get level 6 too. He's... Uh, nope. And he can get the 5. I'll talk to Hawkwind first. with it, he'll say, you know, though you've already attained partial avatar hood in that virtue, and just, you know, make sure you don't fuck up. Okay, I can do Valor. Justice. Sacrifice, I need to work on that one. I'll have to do that off-screen. Uh, I have Honor. Spirituality is very well, and, uh, to see I'm worthy, okay? Nerf. I'll finish talking to Britain. Get whatever levels I can, heal up with him. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back to that first dungeon, uh, Deceit, and do the same damn thing I did. I mean, it didn't really take very long. I mean, like an hour. I'm level 6. Yellow 6. Yana. back and do that first one even easier, you know, get monies and not have to worry about it, but when we come back, I'm actually going to uh, head off to JLM, like off screen I'm going to go and get that, yeah, off screen I'm going to go do that dungeon again, get money, I'm probably going to get a good, probably five, six thousand gold. Uh, Start upgrading some more stuff. Actually, probably 7,000, because I need a key. So that's a definite thing I absolutely need. Some more gems. So... And then I'm gonna be back here at Britain, and I'll just make my way to Jalem. Or fuck that shit, I'll just warp my ass there. I guess, I don't know. But I'm definitely gonna need some monies. To buy stuffs. To just slowly, you know, gearing up everyone. Uh, let's get a key, tools, herbs, need herbs especially. So we'll just take care of that next time. So until then, this is Save Night on Let's Play Ultima Quest of the Avatar. Later, guys.